I'm Meg. Hi, I'm Meg again. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. Today we're going to talk about back to school and back to school foods, what we're going to put in Riordan's lunchbox and in his thermos this year, and the foods that he's excited about eating and what he wants to see in his lunchbox. So let's go through the list. Do you remember what your list of stuff was that we had talked about that you wanted in your lunchbox? No, I forgot. You don't really remember? What are some foods you would like in your lunchbox? Cucumbers? Cucumbers? What else? Refried beans, sweet potato, mm. and grapes. Ooh. And, what else? And oats. Oats? And banana. Bananas? <laughs> So this is the list that Riordan gave us when we started talking about what he might like to see in his lunchbox. So cucumbers, yep. apple slices with cinnamon, grapes, broccoli, potatoes, raisins, spicy yep. tofu, snap peas, sweet potatoes, clementines, dates, and figs. So that was the original lunchbox list. And then there's also a thermos list. Do you remember what you wanted in your thermos when we talked about it before? Fruit salad. Fruit salad? Fruit salad was an idea, an interesting one. Banana ones. What else? R refried beans. Refried beans. What else? Noodles. Noodles. We and oats for special times. Oats, yeah, it's really fun to put oatmeal in the thermos from time to time. Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today I wanted to review this video by Plant Fit Meg. Now she's a vegan YouTuber who kind of started off on the vegan diet from what I understand here. It was kind of a way to lose weight and she successfully did so on a vegan diet, which yeah, I totally believe that is possible to do. And for me, my vegan diet did allow me to lose weight as well. She now has done a video on back to school, whole food, plant-based lunch for her child. And I wanted to review it because I think, again, there's some important points to bring out. And like I said in the Hungry Vegan Mama video, this is not like to pick apart a person. I am simply trying to get the message out to a lot of these vegan mothers who are putting this information onto the internet that you cannot use a weight loss vegan diet on children. And that's my main point that I really do want to get across. And I really want to correct this misinformation that's going on. I, of course, do not follow a vegan diet anymore, and I do not endorse a vegan diet for children at all, but I am trying to at least get these kids to a point where they're eating better. Really, I'd love to see them eating milk, cheese, eggs, and all that stuff, meat. The first thing I did want to say is that using a vegan diet to lose weight is not necessarily the only way to lose weight. Obviously, there's many different ways to lose weight, and I think what it does to people once they lose weight with a vegan diet they think that fat is bad and that fat is what caused them to gain weight and okay i'm just a disclaimer here i've never had to lose a like a large amount of weight i'm just going by my understanding of what causes mainly weight gain most likely in terms of food and I kind of like the concept of not having to go so far with any kind of dietary change in order to affect your health. I think a lot of the time, little changes are significant, especially when you're coming from a, you know, an omnivore diet. Just taking out junk food is a huge, big step. And maybe upping your activity level, um, increasing your, I don't know, hydration, just trying to get those healthy steps in instead of going all the way to a low fat, 
plant-based diet because, okay, here's my understanding of weight loss. And, and this is what Paul Saladino also says and Chris Kenobi and, you know, Nina Teichold has talked about this and just a lot of people do believe this. So it's not, I'm not making this up from my own head. It's the wrong kinds of fat that can make you metabolically unhealthy and that's when you will put on more weight. So if you're eating high linoleic acid and probably, you know, in combination with things like high fructose corn syrup and then other food additives, it's just a really, really bad combination for the body and will, yeah, probably make the average person gain weight. I did gain some weight going from vegan back to animal foods, but in my opinion, it was healthy weight. I needed to gain some of that weight back and I feel better now and I think I look just fine. <laughs> so I don't think it was a problem for me gaining that little bit of weight. And But I don't want that to make people afraid of animal fats because it truly is, I believe, the linoleic acid and just the... The PUFAs, right? The polyunsaturated fatty acids that mess with your mitochondria and therefore make you gain weight. Moving on to the video. I'm just going to skip to the lunch because, you know, I don't want to make this video like forever. Let's have a cucumber in here. Let's put it all. Have a Let's add some. The snap peas are fine as long as there's not too much fiber. I'm not saying no fiber, but vegan diets tend to be very, very high in fiber to begin with, and that doesn't work for kids. It actually doesn't really work for a lot of adults either, but you know, a lot of adults still need to lose weight, so it can be beneficial to some. But for me, for instance, I can only eat a certain amount of fiber before I am bloaty magoo <laughs> or whatever. And for kids, it's especially important to be putting very, very energy dense foods in their lunchbox because kids just cannot grow on these high fiber foods. Not very well, anyway. Okay, what's next? Take that. Let's put some of those. Okay, the one thing I would warn is against all of these sticky dried fruit. Now, this I think was a big culprit in my daughter's teeth issues as a vegan. Also, the fact that she had no protective factors like vitamin D, like K2, like, you know, milk calcium all the things like milk has been such a godsend for my daughter's teeth and for all of us but just no protective factors and then on top of that you're putting these sticky dried fruit and it can really start to ruin these front teeth I found pretty badly probably also the molars too but just a caution about the dry fruit Oh, that's a lunchbox. That's a lunchbox. Okay, then what's this? Banana hammock. You put like a banana inside of this, mm -hmm. so, so your banana doesn't get all squished. Yeah. And, like your back hours and then you put a banana right in the back. Also, my banana. Is banana okay? Now, can we try it together? Also, squish. It's all just. How's that? You're selling it. So, that is done. There's our lunchbox. Get a banana holder. Get a banana holder. That's also a fair bit of sucrose. Now, I've talked about this in other videos. I'm not a fan of high sucrose fruit. Fruit used to be like wild fruit especially is higher in glucose and fructose not sucrose sucrose is basically like the same that's in table sugar right and as we've hybridized these fruit they've become higher and higher in sucrose and i believe that's a big reason why some people can get cavities yes from fruit my daughter got cavities from fruit and breast milk figure that one out So I tend to stick to lower sucrose fruit. The grapes are good. You know, pears, pears, uh, melon. Uh, I think it's more watermelon, actually. Watermelon, berries. Berries are really good. They still kind of have the natural, the wild distribution of sugar. But that's another thing I'm very careful about is, and these bananas, like the banana smoothies, just they get stuck up here in the kid's mouth, I find. My kids do have tongue, uh, lip ties too, but they all have lip ties and they don't all have teeth damage. And it's because 
some of them were fed more sucrose, my daughter, my poor daughter, and she's still losing these front teeth, but they're coming out and we're getting rid of this nightmare. But anyway, that's another thing about the fruit. There, I, oh, sorry. Yeah, it looks very yummy. All right. So next you've got to get your hot things. Yeah. Right? Okay, I'm happy that they are doing a hot thing because this was reminding me of that one uh, Hungry vegan, vegan Mama lunch, the first one she showed, and I was like, oh, that can't be a kid's lunch. That can't be. <laughs> That's a snack, right? But she is gonna do a hot thermos. So I'm still gonna do this stuff. Okay. So you want to get your cutting bread somewhere? I'll give you a bowl. Not a bowl. This is the furnace. That's where we'll probably do food. Ooh, we're gonna use a scooper. Alright, go ahead. So what are you using first? I think some refined beans. Ooh. You show me? Refined beans? Let's put them in. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just going to call it. Do you want to work anything? Yeah, they do. You like beans. You don't have food that you fill your furnace, right? So there's our beans, a little bit of cauliflower rice. So cauliflower rice, mm -hmm. let's put some in the bowl. This one's not very hot, so. So, look at that, right? Put that to the side. Okay, that's it. Oh, gross. Mm. We don't have a lot left, but you can still use it. It's like, it's like one single. Wait, if something gets stuck, you can just use this. Oh, is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Onions and peppers. We'll mm. get some. Maybe I should use my hands. Yeah, you can use your hands. Alright, sprinkle. Sprinkle. I like a lot of onion. <laughs> so, let's put a little bit of pepper. Okay, this is a weird thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is a thing. <laughs> I'm just, you know, pulling this out of my. Okay? But. <laughs> Something about vegan kids craving onions, is that a thing? Because there was another kid in the Karen Ramsey video I did and he used to bring like whole things of onion to school and eat the whole thing, you know what I mean? And this kid really loves raw onions. Now my kids have never loved raw onions, so maybe it wasn't a thing for them when they were vegan. But I keep reading online about how raw onions can be something about like a sulfur issue maybe not raw but just onions in general can be like a liver issue and you need sulfur for your liver but i can't find like a decent source to talk about it so yeah is that a thing is it <laughs> let me know if it's a thing okay yeah all right that's it the sauces what i'm going to say about the sauces we got salsa we're going to use a spoon for this because the scoop that pushes won't work very well so it won't fit there's some salsa. Alright, is that the salsa for you? Yep. Okay, great. I'm really excited. We're going to the cheese. <laughs> That's our homemade nut-free nacho cheese. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nut-free. So this is like no fat. There's no fat in this whole meal. There's none. There's no avocado. Nut-free. And I bet it's oil-free, right? Like most of these... Kids need fat. They need fat for the development of their brain. And in my opinion, the best vegan fat you can give a child is coconut. Coconut, coconut, coconut. If I was had to be vegan, you know, I was put at gun, gunpoint and someone was making me <laughs> be vegan, I would definitely be eating tons of coconut because that's gonna be like the best source of fat you can possibly get and for your child, on a vegan diet that is like basically it's like you know animal fats but without all the fat sol soluble vitamins but at least it's not linoleic acid and it's it's saturated fat right like to me i know this is taboo but that's a better fat than all these other fats that are going to mess up your metabolism and if you're wondering if coconuts cause heart disease there are studies on cultures who eat high coconut and they have low incidences of heart disease so yeah anyway so oh man it's just all carb so now we're going to mix all the stuff out mix 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 oh yeah oh now they're kind of sticky we might be even and again, like those beans and everything is gonna have a ton of fiber. Honestly, if you need to do a vegan diet and if your kids for some reason need to do it too with you, I don't know why that's the case, but kids don't have to be on a vegan diet. You can be on a vegan diet and feed your kids other things, but that's my opinion. You should be using things that have the fiber removed, to be honest. Like I hate tofu, but if there were like other things like tofu, I can't even think of them right now, but like less fiber, more nutrient dense foods and especially coconut. <laughs> Just 
get that coconut in. Alright, is that it? That's good. Yep, you're hot anything else? Uh, I, I, yep, you're hot. Yeah, it looks right. very easy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna warm it up for a minute or so. We'll give it a little longer so that it stays hot in the thermos. Yep. Yeah. I'm really excited for this to get warm for me to get it. It's gonna be so tasty. I'm really excited for this lunch. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we made Ryan's yummy lunch. Ryan's not quite back in school yet. He's still at home with me for a little while. So he's going to eat a little bit of his lunch at home. Let's know what he thinks. Let's try. What's the first thing you're gonna start with? The lunch box. The lunch box? Okay. And there's a lot of special things in here, like yeah. Blue grapes. Blue grapes. Oh, they're so good. Mm. <laughs> kind of sour, kind of sweet. Let's try. <laughs> Yummy cucumbers. Are you going to share with mom? Mmm. You don't want me eating any more of your lunch? Mm. You hear you just said, stop that, because <laughs> she was eating some of his lunch. He's hungry. Vegan kids tend to be very, very hungry. I remember my kids just constantly were hungry as vegans. At least he said it's yummy, but I think when you're that hungry, everything's kind of yummy, so yeah. Firmus. <laughs> Spicy. Mm-hmm. It is quite spicy. Yeah, is it yummy? Yeah. Good. Very yummy. Good. How is it? Good. It looks so it looks like you're enjoying yourself. Mm. Oh, yeah, that looks Okay, well, at least he enjoys it. I think in comparison, like I don't know if he was raised vegan, but like in comparison to the food I eat, like there's no way <laughs> that would be <laughs> yummy, but Anyway, <laughs> I want some chicken in there or something. I want to reiterate, and I said this in the hung Hungry Vegan Mama video, and she didn't seem to, I don't know if she, I don't think she actually watched the video, to be honest, but here's what I want to say to Plant Fit Meg. I know you were trying your best with your child. I know it. I made the same mistakes, okay? I made these mistakes as well. My kids paid for it with their health, and so did I, so... I don't blame her. I think she's misinformed, A, about how to feed a child, but also B, about this whole vegan thing. Like it's, it's gonna come back to bite them as it comes back to bite pretty much everyone eventually, whether they want to admit it or not. But I, I see you. I see that you're trying your best. I see that you're trying hard to raise this child the most healthy way possible that you think is possible. But I wish, and the thing that I really would like to see more of is at least parents giving their kids more fats. And this meal, I mean, as most vegan meals, they're missing calcium. There's barely any calcium in a meal like that. And whether or not you can compensate in the other two meals a day, like unless you're supplementing. Yeah, you're not going to hit your calcium. Even if you were eating, you know, collards, like three times a day, I don't know that you could even hit your calcium. Maybe, maybe with collards, but really difficult. And it's all bound up by usually by anti-nutrients. So calcium K2, there's no way you're getting your K2. There's no way. I guarantee that you're not getting K2. Choline, you're not going to be getting your choline. I didn't even really see like, I can't even remember what choline foods are like mushrooms or something. Anyway, I don't even think about it because I don't <laughs> worry about choline now as you know, a non-vegan, but will that have enough protein for a child? If I was, if I was again, <laughs> held at gunpoint and had to feed my kids a vegan diet, like I would probably be looking into protein powders, to be honest. And what else, what else, what else? Just, well, fat. There's not enough fat. There's too many carbs, in my opinion, too much fiber. And yeah, your kid doesn't need to be on a weight loss vegan diet, if that makes sense. Okay. Here's weight loss vegan diet, like way down here. Here's like vegan diet with super nutrient dense foods, okay? With all your supplements too. I hope you're supplementing because this kid's gonna be missing a lot. And here's like an animal foods, I can't even reach it guys, I'm sorry. An animal foods, okay. It's way up there, but like a vegan like low fiber, high protein, and supplementing K2, choline, calcium, B12, D, DHA. Uh, what else? What else should you supplement? Iodine. Yeah, there's probably no iodine unless she's using iodized salt. The beans might have iodine. Well supplemented, 
yeah, maybe you'll survive a bit longer, like Char likes to say, but, mm. and that's if he's going to absorb. Oh, vitamin A. Where's his vitamin A? There's no sweet potato or, I don't know, mango or stuff with vitamin A in it. Hopefully, again, you're making up for that. And like I said in my last video, vitamin A needs to be A, cooked and B, eaten with fat. Okay, I don't know what was in that cheese. So maybe there was something, some orange, like sweet potato or something in there. But anyway, needs to be eaten with fat to absorb it. And 50% of the population cannot, <laughs> does not have adequate enzymes to make carotenoids into retinol. That's scary. And like I've said many times before, a lot of vegans have compromised intrinsic factor, which does not allow them to absorb B12. <laughs> unless you do it sublingually so I hope you're doing that anyway it's there's just too many things I think I've covered like a bunch of them yeah that's it for this video <laughs> okay I'll see you in another one all right what do you think of this lunch very yummy very yummy you excited to dig into it more yeah <laughs> yeah all right we like to keep it really simple for riordan's lunches and his lunches at home look very similar to his lunches at school we try to keep things balanced with some beans or some soy and a whole grain of some kind or starchy veggies with a mix of raw and cooked vegetables and some yummy fruit right <laughs>